Okay, uh, this video is an explanation of the problems that I am having with my Brook PS3 to PS4 converter that I bought a while back and now I'm having issues with and not able to update. So uh, I'll just kind of run through that real quick and show the problems that I'm having and what's going on with it and whatnot. So um, the issue is uh, I was able I was able to successfully update um, my converter uh, previously. Um, I work on a Mac, as you can see. I have an iMac here. So when it came time to uh, <clears throat> update the the drivers and firmware on the converter, um, when Sony updated the firmware on the PS4, I borrowed uh, a friend's Windows laptop, and I was able to do it fine on a Windows laptop. <clears throat> so recently, Sony updated the firmware again. So yet again, I have to uh, go into my Brooks converter and go through all of this. <coughs> so uh, rather than have to borrow somebody's PC again, I wanted to try and do it on a uh, virtual machine. So uh, I'm running VirtualBox here on my Mac. I've got Windows 10 on VirtualBox. And uh, I, I got into the instructions in the uh, PDF that Brook created and everything was going fine uh, up till about step eight. So the virtual machine recognized the converter. Um, I set up a filter in the, uh, in the virtual machine so that it would um, recognize the uh, Brook converter. First and foremost, you can see right here, when I set up the filter, uh, it, it made it so the virtual machine would first recognize um, the Brook converter instead of having the Mac, the host machine, recognize the converter. So you can see there that, you know, the virtual machine did recognize the Brook converter. I was able to go through all the steps up to step seven and get the, uh, get the drivers installed onto the Brook converter. So at that point, I went on to uh, running, the, running the EXE files that are in here to do the firmware updates on the Brook converter. So I plugged in my controller, just like I'm supposed to. And you can see it's plugged into the converter, which, plugged into the, which is plugged into the back of the computer here. <coughs> and then uh, per the instructions in the PDF, I right click on the uh, EXE file I run as an administrator. What happens is I'll get this message saying that I need to plug in the controller. Now, obviously, the controller is already plugged in. So I can hit the PS button. We'll sit here and blink. But the please plug in controller message just stays up here forever. So this is a problem is I'm stuck in this mode where you can see, I hope you can see in this video that basically what's happening is the converter is stuck in update mode. There's a, there's a blue light and a purple light that are both on at the same time. I don't know what that means. All I know is that I'm, I'm stuck at this point in the update process, which sucks because it's right near the end and I was almost finished and it just doesn't work. So. I don't know how I'm going to do this exactly, but I can, I can hit the, uh, this is going to be kind of harder to do with one hand, but you know, I go, I've tried. So on Facebook, Brooke told me to go ahead and just go through the magic button combination to get out of update mode, but that does not work. So you can see right now that I'm still getting the, you know, it's acting like there's no controller plugged in. So, you know, I can, I can go down to this controller and I can hit the magic button combination. And it does not do anything. It doesn't make a difference. The, the light, the purple light, you know, doesn't change. It doesn't start blinking or whatever. So I'm stuck. I'm stuck with the converter not working, not being of any use to me. And I can't reset it back to where just the blue light is on to start the process over. So I'm stuck. Uh, you know, if, if I try doing this in reverse, it doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter what I push on the controller. It doesn't, it doesn't reset the converter back into update mode. So that's the problem. I'm stuck. I don't know how to get the converter out of update mode. And not only that, 
but it, it now the converter isn't recognized by my computer. If I just plug it into my Mac, it's not recognized as a as a drive anymore. You know, I've tried um, I've tried just plugging the converter into my into my PS4 and doing the magic button combination on the controller there, and it doesn't do anything. It doesn't reset it so that the blue light comes back on. So that's the core issue: is it's stuck in update mode. The purple light and blue light are on, and I don't know how to reset it and get it back out of update mode so that I can try this again, maybe on a regular laptop instead of a virtual machine. I don't know. So, Brooke, I would definitely appreciate it if you could help me understand how to solve this problem or if I could, you know, mail this into you and have you guys reset it, whatever. I need some help. Thank you.